And as a CIO, if I were to hire you as a CISO, I'd want to know, how do you ensure uh, that story isn't going to be written about our health system? I mean, what, what are you going to do? Yeah, that is such a great question, Bill. And it is the thing that is our concern. There are health cares that are taking months and months. I, I hear some reports of eight to nine months before they understand that they have been bre breached. And I think the response is clearly defined people processes and technologies. It's a thing I've been talking a lot with Sirius about. What we've got to do is help organizations define the people, the processes, the technology that prevent the expansion. You can't prevent an event. You have to be able to quickly detect and mitigate the effects and resolve the incidents. And, and I think it's critical in this process to have clear strategies. I think defined playbooks and processes. If I were to give you a few, one, two, threes, Number one, start with some playbooks and processes. Define what are the common incidents that are happening? What does the process look like? I, I wouldn't start with technology, but you have to get to technology. Get the people and the process in place, the playbooks. Get an enterprise strategy in place for your identity, for your multi-factor, for all your significant privileged accounts and account management with vaults and safes, safes get good sources for threat intelligence. You see all these things we're talking about right up front. They're, they're people in process, threat intelligence, something like HISAC, the FBI, there's numbers of good sources for threat intel. Develop a, de a defense in depth strategy. It's not a product, it's a strategy, but develop that strategy over in your security architecture team. Organize and participate with your team in regular fish tests work heavily in identity, understand the identity, the motion of the identity use, the network, the endpoint, the server monitoring. Now we're getting into tools. How do you manage that identity? How do you manage the network? How do you detect events in these places? I'd, I'd suggest to prevent these breaches, another kind of key that comes to my mind is having some good sandbox technology, something that's going to prevent every email from coming into our mailboxes because today, 70, 80% of what comes into the mailbox is either spam or it is a fish attack. And today, I don't know how you tell the difference. So what we've got to do is just help our caregivers, help the doctor, help the nurse, because they can't detect, get a sandbox technology, then have a tested backup strategy and some detection and monitoring that, that gets put into place because clearly the ability to prevent, to your question clearly, Bill, to prevent this, you have to have good detection and identify these things in minutes instead of, as we talked, days and months.